Hello everybody, today we're taking a look at Unit 1, Graphing Linear Functions in Standard Form. Uh, learning objective is I can write, graph, and solve equations in the standard form. AX plus BY equals C. Um, most of us are probably more familiar with slope-intercept form of a linear function, um, which would be written as your Y equals MX plus B. Um, where m is your slope and b is your y intercept um, and you have your variables x and y here um, most of us are familiar graphing in this form um, today we're going to be taking a look at how to graph in a slightly different form this is called standard form um, and basically you have AX plus BY equals C, um, where your A, your B, and your C are, they're just going to be numbers, and your two variables X and Y are here on the same side of the equal sign as opposed to on opposite sides of the equal sign. Um, so just a little bit different um, form, but essentially we're going to be graphing them um, they're just going to be lines on a graph anyway. So let's take a look at a couple examples. All right. I have two equations here at the top. Um, and my questions are, how are these two equations different and how are they the same? So you can see this equation here. Um, this is in standard form. And this equation here is in um, slope-intercept form. So how are they different? Well, there's a kind of a lot of things different about them. Um, this is standard form, this is y-intercept form. Um, the numbers are a lot different on them. You know, we have a four, a two, and a 16 here. It's just one y, negative two, and an eight. There's, you know, the actual number values are quite different. Um, so there's kind of a lot different about them. How are they the same? Um, Really, the only thing that I'd say that's like just visually looking at them, what, what's the same? We're using X and Y in both of them. Um, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how these two equations are actually the exact same equation, just rewritten in a different form. Um, and how I'm going to show you that is by graphing it on this coordinate plane here and show you that in fact, these two equations will actually graph the same exact line. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, how I'm going to do that first is I'm going to graph this one in slope-intercept form. And then actually I'm going to show you guys how to graph um, four of these in standard form. So let's start with this equation right here. Um, and how we generally have been taught to uh, graph in slope-intercept form is you start with your y-intercept. So this is has a slope of negative 2 and a y-intercept of 8. So I'm going to come up to the y-axis, come up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Um, this is my y-intercept. And then I'm going to look at my slope, negative 2. So as a negative 2 slope, I'm coming down 2 and over 1. And I'm hoping that you guys are pretty familiar with how to do, um, kind of do this slope of a line and graph in slope intercept form. Now I forgot a ruler, so I gotta use the straight edge of my calculator to graph line this up. And there we go. So that's how I would graph that line right there. All right, so we have a y-intercept of eight and our slope is negative two. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to graph um, this equation. And I'm gonna do it over here. And I'm gonna show you that it is in fact gonna be the same exact line when I graph it. So how we graph in standard form. Here we're in standard form, four X plus two Y equals 16. What we need to do is pretty much just find two points on this line. And then since it's a straight line, once we have those two points, 
um, we can just connect them with a straight line. So the easiest way to do this is to find your x-intercept and your y-intercept, and you plot those two points, wherever they may be on those two axes, and then connect those two lines. So to do this, what we do is we make a little table. So our x value and our y value. We're gonna plot two ordered pairs um, for this and connect the lines. Now, like I said, the easiest two points to find are the x-intercept and the y-intercept. And I'll show you how that is now. So to find the x-intercept, so where does this line gonna intercept the x-axis? I know that the y value is gonna be zero, right? Because if I'm on this axis right here, I'm not, don't have any vertical change here. So my y value is gonna be equal to zero for my ordered pair there, right? Now, if my y value is equal to zero, I can plug in zero for y here, right? So two times zero is zero. So pretty much I can just cover this up. I know that two times zero becomes zero. So this goes away. And then I'm just looking for four X plus zero equals 16. Now, so what value for X four times X equals 16? Well, I know that four times four is equal to 16. So I know that the ordered pair four zero is gonna be on my graph. Because if I plug in four times four, that makes 16 plus zero equals 16. All right, so four zero is on my graph. And I look over here, one, two, three, four, and sure enough, the same point is on the graph. Now to find the y-intercept, um, I know that the x value is gonna be zero. So on my table, I'm gonna make um, x is equal to zero. Now when I plug in zero for x here, I will have four times zero plus two y equals 16. The four times zero turns into zero, so that goes away. And my y value is gonna be two times y equals 16. And I know that two times eight is equal to 16. So I know that my other ordered pair is gonna be zero, eight. If I go up here, zero, eight is right there. So my two points on this line are on this line. So when I go to graph this line, I'm gonna line up my two points and it's gonna be the same line. All right, well. I missed it a little bit, but that's okay. So what we did is we had an equation in slope intercept form and a slope uh, equation in standard form. And they looked very different from each other, but we just showed that it's actually the same exact line, just written in a different form. All right, so now we're gonna take a look at three more examples. Um, and these are all just gonna be in standard form. And I'm gonna do them in different colors here so that a little more visually friendly. So now we have the equation negative two X plus seven Y equals 14. So what we do to graph in standard form, we make our table. And let's start with the X intercept for first. So we put in a zero for our Y value and we're going to plug in zero for Y and figure out what the X needs to be. So negative two X plus seven times zero equals 14. Seven times zero, think of that, that kind of goes away. That just is a zero. So negative two X equals 14. Um, and I know that negative two times a negative seven will equal 14. You could do this on your calculator as well. So to do that, I would do 14 divided by negative two would give me my negative seven. So this is one of my order, my ordered pairs here, negative seven, zero. So I'm gonna come over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is my x-intercept. Now I need to find my y-intercept. So the x value of the y-intercept is gonna be zero. I'm gonna plug in zero for x, so negative two times zero 
plus my 7y equals 14. Negative 2 times 0, that turns into 0, that goes away. And then I have 7y equals 14. And I know that 7 times 2 is equal to 14. So y needs to equal 2. So on my y-axis, I'll be 1, 2. All right. And once I have two points on a line, I can connect them like so. Like that. So that is that second equation there. All right. Go to the third color here. We have the equation 3x minus 9y equals 27. So again, we're going to make a little table here, a little x and y table, um, finding two values and plotting them and connect the line. The easiest two values are the x and y intercept. So the x intercept will have a y value of 0. And then let's figure out what the x value is. So 3x minus 9 times 0 equals 27. 9 times 0 is 0, so that goes away. 3x equals 27. We can do that on the calculator real quick. 3 times x is 27, so I need to go 27 divided by 3. It would give me 9. So x is equal to 9 in this case. I'm going to plot that point. X is 9. I believe that's here. Um, then we'll go for the y-intercept. The x value is going to be 0. So let's plug in 0 for x. Minus 9y equals 27. 3 times 0 is 0. Negative 9y equals 27. So if I divide by negative 9 on both sides, I'm going to 27 divided by negative 9. That's going to give me a negative 3 for my y. So y is equal to negative 3. 1, 2, 3. And there's my second point. And anytime you have two points on a line, you can connect them and get all the points. All right, so there is line three. Looks like it's parallel to line two. Did not do that on purpose, but that's fine. Uh, and last one, negative four X minus five Y is equal to 40. So again, we make a little X and Y table to figure out the X intercept. Y needs to equal zero. So I know that negative 4x minus 5 times 0 equals 40. 5 times 0 is 0. That's gone. So negative 4x minus 0 equals 40. Negative 4x equals 40. So 40 divided by negative 4, negative 10. So x is our negative 10. That's right at the end there. That's our x-intercept. Now to find the y-intercept, our x value needs to be equal to 0. So we'll go negative 4 times 0 minus 5 times y equals 40. Negative 4 times 0 is 0, right? That's gone. That's, that's 0. So now we're just stuck with negative 5y equals 40. Again, we have our 40 divided by the negative 5 to figure out that y is negative 8. All right. Come down to negative 8. I believe that's there. We have two points on this line. And we can connect those like so. So there you go. There's four um, equations written in standard form, uh, graphed on the coordinate plane. Uh, the key point is to find your x and y intercepts. Um, 
by plugging in zeros for x or y and figuring out what the other value is. Once you have the x-intercept and the y-intercept, you can just connect those with a straight line. Uh, thank you. Bye-bye.